Ah, do you smell the spring in the air? That's right. Before you know it, fantasy baseball is going to be upon us. It's time to talk about the breakouts of 2024. And some of the names on this list are guys that you already saw show you glimpses of greatness in 2023. Others, unfortunately, got derailed by injuries. And another one was on this list last year, but we're carrying him over. We're giving him one more chance. I'm Joey P, Joe P. Zapia, and these are my top 10 breakouts for 2024. Don't forget to subscribe to Fantasy Bros MLB channel. Drop your comments below. Tell me who you think your breakouts are going to be in 2024. And you just might win yourself a free premium upgrade to Fantasy Pros Premium for your Major League Baseball. That's right. Get the best of Draft Wizard. Get the best of my playbook. All at your fingertips. Manage all your lineups. Get all your waiver claims in. Do everything you possibly need to do in Fantasy Baseball all on one special app. And don't forget the draft software. Pretty amazing as well. So without further ado, here are my top 10 breakouts for 2024 MLB. Let's start with number 10, Zach Geloff, second baseman for the Oakland A's. Geloff made his debut with the A's in July and hit the ground running literally, and he finished the year with 14 homers, 14 steals, and a 267 batting average. If he did qualify, he would have finished top 10 at his position at second base in barrel percentage, hard hit percentage, slugging percentage, and X slug. Everybody loves a good X slug. Despite the high strikeout rate and the rough numbers against lefties, the raw skills are there for Geloff, and he paced out to a 2023 season of 25 homers and 25 steals. Now, projections this year with the league adjusting to him will probably get you closer to 2020, but considering he's going outside the top 100 right now, this guy could be a breakout at second base, which is historically the last couple years, a tough position in fantasy baseball. He might have the batting average come down to the 240-250 range, but as long as he maintains that power speed combination, Geloff could be a really good return and a breakout star in 2024. Number 9, Logan Ohapi, catcher of the Los Angeles Angels. It appeared that Logan Ohapi was in store for a monstrous 2023 season, but a shoulder injury sidelined him for most of the year, and to the surprise of many, he actually returned in August and finished the season on a high note. Now, he hit just 236 on the year, but he had 14 homers, and that's what we're talking about. 14 homers in 51 games is a lot, and for a catcher, you're looking for that power productivity. Now, most of the production came when he appeared healthy in September, when he had 258 with nine homers over 26 games. But if we could get an entire healthy season of Logan Ohapi, we could be seeing one of the top 10 catchers potentially in the league. So watch out as this breakout catcher comes to a roster near you. Coming in at number eight on our list, Michael King, relief pitcher slash starting pitcher now for the San Diego Padres. The Padres acquired Michael King last year in the Juan Soto trade that sent him to New York and King to sunny San Diego. Now Michael King's going to get a chance to prove that he's more than just a dominant reliever and he's going to take the ball every fifth day in that Padre rotation. And considering what the Padres have done the last few years with guys like Seth Lugo, Michael Waka, and heck, even Joe Musgrove a few years ago, King could be a legitimate breakout stud pitcher in 2024. Last year as a starter, he pitched in nine games and threw up a 2.23 ERA with an 11.4 strikeouts per nine. That, my friends, is elite level stuff, not to mention the 1.1 one for whip to go along with it. Michael King is 28 years old, soon to be 29, and soon to be a breakout starting pitcher in fantasy this season. Number seven, Mets catcher Francisco Alvarez. Now, Alvarez completed his first season as the big time catcher for the Mets, and it was pretty solid. 25 homers in 123 games is nothing to sneeze at. Now, he scored 51 runs and drove in 63, and those stats are really solid, except for the fact, well, he hit just 209, and his BABIP was just 222. But don't worry, boys and girls, because Francisco Alvarez crushed minor league pitching, and we all know that it's very tough for a young catcher to get the call, be the guy, and have to manage the pitching staff. Offense tends to come later, and considering Alvarez got off to such a slow start last year and really came on late, I think Alvarez can build on that strong second half, take it over a full 140, maybe even 150 games if he DHs more, and Alvarez has a potential to be a fantastic fantasy asset for all of you in 2024. For the sixth guy on our list, let's ship up to Boston for Brian Bello of the Boston Red Sox starting pitcher. Now, yes, he does spell his name B-R-A-Y-A-N, which is weird, but that's okay. I'm ready to get weird. 
For the first time in the Red Sox rotation, this 24-year-old Brian Bella was pretty respectable. He made 28 starts through 157 innings and had a decent 424 ERA and a 1.134 whip. And I say decent because he was pitching the American League East, typically a very tough ballpark situation wherever you travel or even at home, not to mention some of the lineups you have to face on a regular basis. Now, if Bello can regain that 10.8 K per nine rate from his 77 minor league starts, this is a guy that could take a real step forward despite pitching in that tough division. Bellow's one of those guys where spring matters, so if he looks sharp, I'd move him up your draft board and be aggressive in drafting him because there's a good chance Bellow is ready to break out, and this might be one of the reasons why the Red Sox were so comfortable trading Chris Sale this offseason to Atlanta. Jumping to number five, let's talk about Cole Raggins, starting pitcher of the Kansas City Royals. It was a crazy season for Raggins last year. As a reliever for the Rangers, he struggled with a 5.92 ERA over 24 innings. Then he got dealt to the Royals and became a starting pitcher, and he proceeded to go 5-2 over his 12 starts with a 2.64 ERA and a 1.07 whip, not to mention a stunning 11.2K per nine. That, my friends, is the same rate he showed over 268 minor league innings, and now that 10% walk rate is still a tad high. If he can just get that down just a tad, Cole Raggins could be a dominant pitcher this year, and you know he's going to go a little cheaper than he should because he pitches for who? The Kansas City Royals. And that 279 ERA, it wasn't a fluke because the FIP shows you that 264 mark is pretty darn good. So although Raggins might be buzzworthy and a bit of a darling when it comes to the fantasy baseball community, I think in most casual drafts you could still get him at a decent rate, and the return for Raggins could be huge on that ADP in 2024. Next on our list, let's copy and paste somebody who didn't get to break out last year, but could this year. Now that he's healthy, it's O'Neill Cruz, shortstop for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Now, Cruz last year, unfortunately, ended the season very early with a broken ankle, and that robbed us of most of 2023. Now, he did it, won a home run, and stole three bases during the nine games he played, so I guess we can build on that, right? <laughs> right? We forget that O'Neill Cruz was the original Cruz that we were excited about before Ellie Dela Cruz came into town. He's got massive talent and skills, but he's also got massive strikeout concerns, and that could be a problem. It did carry over to the few games we saw in 2023. We also have to expect that that's just part of the game nowadays and accept a little bit of Cruz's deficits because some of the positive he brings is a huge amount of power and stolen base potential. If you're playing in Roto Leagues this year, Cruz is going to be a guy who has bounce back potential in a big way and could absolutely be a breakout contender if he could just modulate down just a tad that high strikeout rate. But there's a good chance regardless he's going to come away with 25 or more home runs and 20 or more stolen bases. And if he could do both of these things, O'Neill Cruz will finally be a breakout star that we've been waiting for for not just one year, but two. But that's okay. I'm patient. But Mr. Cruz, this is it. I'm warning you. You don't get another crack at this list next year. Number three, Bobby Miller, starting pitcher, Los Angeles Dodgers. As LA starts to turn over this rotation to the youth movement, Bobby Miller is going to be a big part of that. He was very impressive over his 22 starts last year, posting a 3.76 ERA and a 1.10 whip with a 7.6 hits per nine and a 4 to 1K walk ratio. And you might say, well, Joe, that's kind of a breakout. But I think there's another gear in Bobby Miller we haven't seen. This guy was a filthy pitcher in the minor leagues. And the best part now is with the signing of Yamamoto and the acquisition of Tyler Glass now. Bobby Miller doesn't have as much pressure on him as he might have going into the season without those acquisitions. Now Bobby Miller can sit back, be the third or maybe even fourth guy in this rotation potentially, and that's huge for a young developing stud pitcher. So look for Bobby Miller to take that 3-6 ERA, drop it by maybe .25 or even more, and look for him to be yet again dominant as he was on the minor league level, but this time taking it out on major league hitters. So draft Bobby Miller aggressively in 2024. Number two on our list, Grayson Rodriguez, starting pitcher of the Baltimore Orioles. Now, Grayson Rodriguez did have some ups and downs last season, including getting sent down to the minor leagues. However, 
By season's end, you could see the reason for all the hype around Grayson Rodriguez. The Orioles are a franchise that's clearly on the upswing, and Rodriguez looks to be part of that big future. His final 10 starts gave us a 2.50 ERA, and his September strikeout rate rose closer to his dominant minor league mark. The Orioles have struggled for years to develop their young pitching talent, but I'm going to go out on a limb here with Grayson Rodriguez and think that we are going to buck that trend finally and I'm looking for a full 30 starts out of Grayson Rodriguez that look a lot more like the 10 that he gave us down the stretch. So Grayson Rodriguez, breakout time. And last but certainly not least, Yuri Perez, starting pitcher of the Miami Marlins. Oh, baby. Yuri Perez is exciting. A 20-year-old who just absolutely is filthy when it comes to the 90 big league innings we saw last year but that's the problem he didn't really break out last year because 90 innings is not enough i'm greedy i want more yes he did post a 315 era and a 1.13 whip with a 10.9 k per nine rate over that span but that FIP was actually a full run higher than the ERA, coming in at 4.11. And after 127 innings combined last year, there's a good chance we finally get Yuri Perez into the 150 or even 160 range in 2024. As long as he can maintain anything close to the pace we saw last year, Yuri Perez could be the true breakout starting pitching stud of 2024. And that's why he is number one on this list. There you have it, everybody. Those are my top 10 breakouts for 2024, but I want to hear from you. Drop your comments below, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell till it goes ding. And you just might win a one-year free premium upgrade to Fantasy Pro's MLB Premium. That's right, the best tools for fantasy on the planet. And speaking of tools, I'm out of time. That'll do it for me, Joey P. We'll see you next time, kids.